you're so brave <laughs> to have this child on your own, to raise this child on your own. <laughs> I was like, I don't even want to know Are who the dad is. I don't, I don't even, it's none of my business. Okay. I'm I loving the new hair. look. You have oh, longer hair you. from last time. Thank you. You're just moving on up in this I world, mean, Timmy <laughs> I almost wore a turtleneck, and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. You, that would have been that. really, uh, probably a little too elite and probably a little too classy for this <laughs> dog and pony show. There's a picture of me from when I was a kid. What is, what is <laughs> There's a picture of me. What doing? What? There's one behind me. What is this person doing? Was... This is where I wish that like like she isn't even fully aware that I'm right attention. behind her and she's just she doesn't up. care. She's still gonna. She, oh, oh, nope. Wait. She gotta travel okay, more. She can't do. Wait. She. Season seven. This is the final season. This is final season. Final season. Season final seven. Season. Driver's Meg. You ready to do it? We're calling this one. I say we like I have a whole team. It's just me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're calling this one. Too fast, too funny, the final ride. Damn, that means this better be fucking funny. It better be funny. Or all of our careers me, are done. People now. are bringing it. Done. We have heard about Me Too's already, and Perfect. we've gotten um, childhood uh, imaginary friends who I'm pretty sure my friend was just molested by the bull boy. Like, I think, I think oh, this person shit. was real. Like, she's telling the story, and I'm literally like, I knew this person was real. <laughs> like, we just I just had this conversation the other day about um, like pictures from when we were like little kids and like outfits and like how our parents dressed us and I uh, clearly have this vivid memory I remember my mother dressed me in this like red tank top I've got to be like maybe no. like I've got to be like six maybe six or seven maybe not even I might even been five and she dressed me in this and these booty shorts. I mean, short, short, real, real short shorts. Okay. And I had uh, these white socks all the way rolled up in my sneakers. Uh. And I remember she was like, there was like a like a stump, like a tree stump. And she's like, sit on that. And I remember my mom saying like, look cute. But I put my hands behind my back and I just like arched. And so I look like fucking like provocative i don't i don't know why but i was like oh this is just fun i wasn't doing it on purpose well, no, because no little kid knows that no. they, they look like they're ready to hit the internet no. for like you know pedophilia mm -hmm. so flash forward maybe six months after this picture was taken i'm walking home and i'm like got my head down just like i'm in a mood i don't know what i was mad about but i was a mad or upset a six and a half year old stewing big time big time have my hands in my pockets i do remember that I had a backpack on and as i'm walking this guy pulls up in this shitty car. And I lived in this, like, I picturesque, like, suburban neighborhood. There was, like, no crime. And he has his window down, and he's like, hey, what's going on? And I was like, I didn't, like, listen. Because I was like, I knew enough I'm about, like, I'm doing strangers. also yeah. with my hands in my pockets, sir. Leave mm -hmm. me be. And I was super pissed that he was, like, bothering me. Right. And then, so. <laughs> not scared. No, not scared. And then he asked me again. He's like, hey, I'm talking to you. And I was like, What? And he goes, um, he goes, hey, um, do you want some candy? And I'm <gasps> like, no. And he's like, uh, you say, so he's like, you don't want to get in my car and have some candy? And I was like, no. I was like, I don't know you. And he goes, oh, okay. And he goes, well, um, one of your, your mom sent me to come get you because your dad's sick. Oh my God. He and like was just going through, going through the this, murderous, like, checklist. Checklist. pedophile mm -hmm. checklist that they teach you mm -hmm. when you're little. And I was such a snarky little kid that I looked at him and I go, okay, if you can tell me my mom and dad's name, I'll get in your car. Oh, and that was that. <laughs> and the guy turned around. That's when he got angry. And he turned around and he's like, listen, you fucking little piece of shit. I said, get in my fucking car. And then I remember my dad taught me that if you're going to run away, run behind the car because then they have to do like a U-turn. Oh and so God. I looked at him and I just flashed a peace sign and I go, not today. And I just <laughs> start running. <laughs> and, and I knew a neighbor's house uh, where the the their parents didn't get home until like five or six o'clock at night. So I threw my backpack over the fence, hopped the fence, and I just laid down and just stared at the clouds and I could hear this car going up and down like the alley. Were you scared? I wasn't I scared. I would have been shitting myself. I wasn't scared. 
And then um, I waited maybe like 10, 15 minutes and I peek over the fence and I like kind of creep down in between the houses to see the main street and he's not, he's not there. And the next thing I know, I just start walking home. Babysitter's there, I uh, lets me in, whatever. And then my parents come home, we're eating dinner. And then my parents like would like talk, want to like talk about their day. Like, what'd you do, Tim? What'd you do? To, what you know? What we all do? I and just I was got just, kidnapped. Yep. And <laughs> my parents, they like their jaw dropped, and they're like, "What did he look like? What did he look like?" They called the police, and I was trying to give them this description of the car and everything Damn else. Me. And I've never forgotten that day. What did that truck look like? It was this dark brown like Chevy sedan. You guys on the lookout. How many years later? And, yeah, this Chevy should be like sedan. 25 years later. What you know where is that man mm -hmm. today? Hopefully and dead. I said it, you heard it here first. And he was like real thin and sickly looking and he had like scraggly like bleach blonde hair or like maybe like sandy blonde brownish this hair. And this is horrifying. Never saw him again. Never saw him never again. Never saw that dude again. Never saw that dude again. Kudos though that you were this awesome snarky kid. And you know, you know what I really credit? The red tank top. I think it I think you just <laughs> you just had an attitude from that that just that red tank top had you acting up. I'm gonna send you that picture. And I want I'm it for sure. It's hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe this happened to you. Oh yeah. Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh yeah. This my family, a... we talk about it. We talk about all. We talk about it as if it's a funny joke, which of course it's not. But like, I mean, we talk as if it's just like, what if he did kidnap you? And I was like, what if? Oh my god, you wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't. Yeah, no. that dude would have definitely murdered you. Oh no, he would have totally murdered me. Yeah, you would have. He would have murdered me. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, just slowly, just choke me out. Yeah. And who knows what he would have done? Well, you were my, giving him sass. To my precious little body. Who knows what he no, would have done? No, no, no. I was like, this, this, this guy, guy, this guy. If you can tell me my mom and dad's name. Ugh. I would. I gave. I did. My, well, my mouth always and got me in I trouble. And then I sashayed away. <laughs> I clearly remember being like, "Who are you?" And like, and I remember also at that age being like, "Who who randomly comes up and talks to someone that you don't know?" Kidnappers. But that still even goes on the older I've gotten. Like, I don't usually come up. I never engage like it with just strangers. I, leave you alone. I, I it, like I'm always like shocked when friends of mine that are like, "I'm gonna go talk to that girl at a bar." I'm like, "Do it if you want." I am like, "No." If anyone, I want them to talk to me. I don't. I want people. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for this. Having it's always a pleasure. If I don't My get that picture, hair. if I don't get that picture, I'm gonna be so pissed. I'll send it to you. I will. I will find it. Yo, when you watch this episode, go directly to my Instagram at Drivers Meg, and I promise you that photo will be there. It'll be there. We're gonna do a reenactment, and then I want you guys to tell me we're gonna vote who wore it best. <laughs> Adult you or child, <laughs> child me? To me. I bet that's how we're gonna catch your your kidnapper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Drivers Meg, vigilante justice coming at ya. We're out, guys. Peace. <laughs>